my name is Johannes and we're back with another episode of Nomad Cities. In this episode, I'll be meeting Sean Dalton, a coffee-obsessed photographer that moved all the way from America to the charming and beautiful city of Chiang Mai. I think living here really brings out some of the best qualities in me. We learn a lot about ourselves when we push our comfort zone and go exploring in places that we haven't been before. Thailand is called the land of the smiles simply because everyone loves to smile here. It's just such a vibrant and friendly culture and it's so easy to come here and feel comfortable because you're instantly greeted with smiles and people that are genuinely happy to see you. There's also very low crime rates, so there's no thieves and stuff like that. And that makes me feel so much more comfortable because that's a stressor that you just don't have to worry about. Everyone's friends and everyone's good to each other. It's such a safe place. A 15 minute drive will take you into beautiful Thai jungles where you can go hiking. There's waterfalls here. You can really get out into nature incredibly easy. I get around on a motorbike and it's very easy to get around the city. It's convenient, it's fast, and it's fun. And they're also incredibly cheap. You can rent one for something like $4 a day. There's a few cafes I like to go to that are out in the jungle that are really quiet and really peaceful. And they help me brainstorm creative ideas that I have. I have a coffee and just relax. Sean, as I heard, you have like a coffee issue. Yeah, I'm the first to admit, I do have a little bit of a problem. I absolutely love coffee. Is it typical for Thailand people to drink coffee? It wasn't, but I think recently Thai people have really gotten into the coffee culture. Now everyone is drinking coffee. It's crazy. Cheers. Chiang Mai has an awesome coffee culture. The coffee here is absolutely amazing, and that's simply because it's everywhere, and everyone wants to make the best cup of coffee. Food in Chiang Mai is great, it's incredibly cheap. You know, you can get Thai food for a dollar. There's Western food, there's vegan and vegetarian options, and it's delicious. I like to call Chiang Mai a hobby city, and that's simply because there's a group for any hobby that you could ever think of. It doesn't matter if you're into board games, or you're into archery, or hiking, or running, or knitting. And it's so easy to make friends here because you, know, you can go to these meetups, and you can meet like-minded people that make you feel comfortable here. The music scene in Chiang Mai is great. If you're a musician, there's jam groups all over the place. If you go out, you walk by a bar, there's gonna be live music. It's an artist city. There's so many artists that are looking to improve their crafts. For me, that's important because I have other creatives that I can work with to continue to grow. And that's one of the reasons why Chiang Mai is so amazing is because there's so much knowledge that's being shared freely in the community no matter what your profession is, it really pushes you to succeed and continue to grow. If you're a digital nomad, this is the place to be. Thank you, Thailand, and thank you, Chiang Mai. Next up up, Kuala Lumpur. 